17-year-old Braden Jackson overdosed twice in one day and was sent to Vernon Jubilee Hospital. His mother, Patricia, was not contacted either time and was unaware her son overdosed. He was two days clean. He went to the hospital around, well, April 11th, around 1 o'clock, he's thinking, to go get help because he couldn't handle the withdrawals anymore. So he went to the hospital, he asked if he could get prescribed uh, Suboxone. They said they can't prescribe Suboxone and to go to the methadone clinic and it opened on Monday. So from there he was like, you know, broken hearted, right, because he wanted to get clean. So he's like, well, to numb the, you know, the pain and the whatever they're feeling, he went and used and he got a free sample off of some guy and he used it and overdosed right away, brought in by ambulance. And then they discharged him an hour later. I wasn't contacted at all and uh, released. And then around 7.30 that night, eight o'clock, he was picked up, he was found by Polson Park here by his friend. The hospital did not contact anyone on Brayden's behalf and Patricia feared her son's safety after she found out Brayden started using heroin. She was not happy about the hospital's decision to not contact anyone. I was like, I was losing it. Like the whole drive home, as soon as I found out from Prince George to here, I was like crying, bawling my eyes out. I wasn't allowed to talk to him. I wasn't allowed to see him until like Wednesday, last Wednesday, right? Because he was admitted Sunday. So I had to wait until Wednesday to even be allowed to see him. And they weren't even going to let me see him until I said something about lawyers and stuff. I should be able to see my son, you know? I just find out he almost died twice. He went there for help. He wasn't given help. And then it's like, how many other kids have overdosed or adults overdosed because they didn't get that. From Castanet News, I'm Victoria Famia, Vernon.